hi and welcome in my kitchen. In today's video, I will be sharing with you four bread dumplings recipes, German and Austrian, for your weeknight dinners. I will start this video by showing you how to make the traditional German bread dumplings. To make eight bread dumplings, I will need four bread rolls. I am actually using bread rolls that are one day old. So first I'm gonna cut them into thick slices and then I'm gonna cut them into cubes. For the perfect consistency of the bread dumplings, I am cutting my bread rolls into medium cubes. And then I put them into medium mixing bowl. Next, I'm gonna warm up the milk and I'm gonna turn the heat off just before it starts boiling. Then I'm gonna pour the milk immediately all over the bread cubes. I'm gonna let this rest for 10 minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna cut the onion very thinly and fry it on the pan with a batter until golden brown. Then I'm gonna add the eggs for this recipe. I am using two eggs. Then I'm gonna season the egg mixture. So I'm putting a one tablespoon of parsley, some pepper and also salt. And then I'm gonna mix it uh, by using a whisk. Then after 10 minutes, I'm gonna put the onion into the mixing bowl with the cubes. And then I'm gonna also add the egg mixture. And now it's the time to combine all those ingredients. I am using my hand for that. If you have a feeling that your mixture is too wet, you can easily add some breadcrumbs to it. If it's not too sticky, please add another egg. Before I start forming the dumplings, I'm gonna prepare a small bowl with water so the dough won't stick to my hands. It's just a regular room temperature water and then I'm gonna form the dumplings. I like my bread dumplings to be medium size, like a tennis ball. And this is how the dumplings look like when they are ready to go to the pot. The dumplings should be simmered in a very hot salty water. I am using pretty wide pot, the widest I have. And then I'm putting the dumplings into the water very carefully. It takes around 20 minutes for them to be ready to be served. Bread dumplings go perfectly with any saucy meat or vegetarian dishes. I love my bread dumplings to be served with a creamy mushroom sauce. So yes, as a vegetarian dish. And by the way, this dish is extremely popular in the German restaurants in the winter time. Last year I've eaten those incredible bread dumplings with Chantarelle in the Franconian restaurant. German bread dumplings also go extremely well with a goulash, but also braten. On the screen right now you can see the pork roast with a roast gravy. And in Bester's garden, once we had stir-fry bread dumplings with cooked broccoli, chanterelle and also soft goat cheese. This could be perfect leftover dish. Next bread dumplings that I will be showing you are those wonderful Kaspers Knödel, so dumplings made with cheese. To make those we're gonna need a good amount of onions as well as cheese. I am uh, using grated uh, back kisa, so cheese from the mountains. And then we also need the egg mixture. Then I just need to mix all the ingredients together. Oh, and by the way, you can also add some parsley and chives to this, but that's optional. Then with a the wet hands, I'm gonna form the dumplings and then I'm gonna fry them on the medium heat in a pan. And as you can see on the screen, uh, I am actually placing the dumpling and then I'm pressing it because in the end, they are called cast. Press knödel. Obviously you need to be very careful when doing this so you don't get burnt with a hot oil. If you are a bit scared you can use the spoon for pressing. After a good five minutes you turn the dumplings and then you fry them from the other side. Look how wonderful and golden brown they are already. 
Traditional way of serving Kaspersknödel is with a soup, but I also seen some restaurants serving it with a salad, so I prefer that way. Those are so delicious and so easy to make. Next dumplings that I will be talking about are the ones with bacon, so Speckknödel. For those, we're gonna use uh, onions that were fried on a good amount of butter and obviously bacon. I seasoned the egg mixture also with a nutmeg and then I added it to the breadcrumbs and mix it all together. Also, in this case, I created a medium bread dumpling, tennis ball size, and then I served them with a warm sauerkraut as the tradition says. And here I wanted to show you very quickly a footage uh, from the Austrian Alps. They actually did serve the Speckknödel not only with a sauerkraut, but also this incredible roast gravy. And also the sauerkraut contained bacon. And the last dumplings that I'm gonna show you are one of my favorites. And those are the spinach dumplings. It is also an Austrian recipe. I've got so many photos of this dish because I truly love this recipe. So I am putting a good amount of spinach into the bread cubes. Uh, there are already also uh, fried onions in this bowl. Then I'm adding egg mixture, also seasoned with salt, pepper and nutmeg. And in this case, I'm also adding one garlic clove. Spinach dumplings are a bit tricky because they contain uh, more water. Therefore, before I start boiling all the dumplings, I always boil uh, one to check if it doesn't fall apart. If it doesn't, I add the rest of the dumplings. In the meanwhile, I also prepare brown butter because this is how the uh, spinach dumplings are served traditionally. I also love serving my bread dumplings with a bit of parmesan cheese and a bit of chives, but this is optional. So there you go, this is seriously a piece of heaven. And here I wanted to show you very quickly how soft they are, incredible. I really hope that you will make at least a one of those bread dumplings really soon. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite uh, bread dumpling variation. If you like dumplings, I've got for you two videos on my channel. One general about the German uh, dumplings and the other one about the German potato dumplings. So you can watch them next. I am actually showing all this comfort food to get you prepared for the advent time and Christmas time because there will be a lot of cooking to do. So stay safe and healthy and obviously wait for another cooking inspiration from me next Sunday. <laughs> Bye!